Hi, uh, I've recently found a feature in, in ZBrush 4, which I was not aware of, which is the, a tool for smoothing, which is the smooth directional tool. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate how it can make a, a huge difference uh, comparing it to the traditional smooth, smooth brush. I have started by creating a, a, an object in, with these spheres, and here I am starting to use the traditional smooth brush. You see that as, as, as we smooth the, the model, it collapses because it tries to smooth in every direction. If we wanted to smooth it along the, the, the form of the object, it, it would not be possible as, it's, as it collapses to the center as we smooth it. Now, going back to the original model, uh, we are now going to select the smooth directional tool from the brush palette. And you'll see that it will behave in a completely different way. The smooth directional will, will only smooth in the direction of the strokes. So, as I as I stroke along the object, you'll see that it only smooths in that direction, preserving the, the, the global volume of the object, but making the, the direction of the stroke much smoother. If this was, uh, for instance, the, the tail of a, of a character, we could smooth the, the curve of the, of the tail without collapsing the, the form of the tail. I will now show the comparison between the two meshes. And you see that the result of smoothing with the smooth directional tool is quite different and with much better results. I hope you have enjoyed. See you next time.